And there it is. Recording on the new camera. Yes. Because the other one decided to stop working. Yeah. <laughs> how many t how many takes for that? Um, I don't remember. Office Christmas party video? <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was like seven. I, I'm happy it happened with that video, though, and not the video I shot before, which was the... the 47 minute long from the toy bin video that oh, I did boy. Of, of my Marvel figures. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dodged a bullet on that one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so we just got out of Rogue One. Yes. Uh, I don't think we should spoil this movie. Considering yeah. the, the climax, we're gonna we're gonna refrain from, or, or at least try at to least not try spoil. To. Yeah, so... Um, so again, watch at your own risk. Yeah. This movie is a very interesting anomaly because mm -hmm. it is the first Star Wars, I want to say, midquel? Where, where it's not... It's not a... It, well, it kind of is a prequel, but it, it happens... I believe the yeah. correct term is interquel. Ah. I, I hear midquel a lot. Ah. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, and it was the probably the first time that like the Jedi were not a main factor in a you know what that's the movie. one thing I really loved about this movie yeah. was the fact that it's just like okay nobody's pulling yeah. out a goddamn lightsaber yep. for uh, once well, well someone did but again, well spoilers. yes but spoilers <laughs> um uh, yeah and it it really felt like no one had any faith in this movie. It the, really did. The feel the like, fans, yeah. the critics. Nobody I don't did. even think the Disney had faith in this movie. And here here's how you can tell. Um, the action figure line for this film is pitiful. Oh really? There are the, for like the regular like one character carded figures. I think there's like eight of them. That's it. And that that's it. <laughs> That is it. I. <laughs> that's, that's, that's awful. Oh well, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> like, remember when Force Awakens came out and you couldn't find that shit anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're giving that shit away now. <laughs> it, it, which is a shame because this was a really good Star Wars movie. I did it, enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy. Uh, honestly, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than Force Awakens. I would have to agree, though I yeah. do have some gripes with this it, movie. Yeah, we'll we'll get to the, yeah. Well, you know, let's just get to it right now. Yeah. Uh, the the negatives first. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of really cool characters in this movie yeah, that we meet, and barely touched upon. Yeah. So mo we most most of the people in this movie, most of the the crew members, I guess, of Rogue One are basically hitchhikers. They are. <laughs> They really are. For half the movie, I didn't even know their names. It's like, because, yeah. yeah. My main problem with this movie is with the first act. It just jumps all over yeah, the place. Yeah, there's, like, s just stuff happening, and they cut away to, like, a really quick scene of something happening. Yeah. Like, the scene with the, uh, the where they, they kidnap the uh, Imperial pilot, the, what's his name? The, 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 you know, the guy? I just call uh, him Cargo Pilot. And you know what? It was and weird, it's... because... <laughs> It was weird because I I thought he was the other guy for a second because he looked yeah. just the, the the main guy the the uh, what's his name we'll call him Diego Diego yeah I, Andor Captain Andor was his actual name but because they both looked very similar they had the same goatee and yeah his, that's right so <laughs> and, they were and, almost the same character yeah and that that scene where they like kidnapped him like it's it went by so quick I was like wait. Wait, what happened? Yeah, who's who is that guy? <laughs> Go back. No. Rewind. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah. Jeez. Um, so yeah, the the characters in this are really really cool. Unfortunately, we don't get to know them. No. They they just kind of show up. And they're like, hey, going my way? And he's like, yep. Yeah. And they just they just go. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. It's just like, yeah, hi. Um, we're gonna shoot some dudes, and then we're gonna shack up with you guys, and that's pretty much what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they were great. Don't get me wrong, but I wish I wish uh, we got to know them a little bit. I, yeah. I think well, we got to know Jin pretty fairly well. Yeah, Jin Urso, um, the main character. Uh, the the pilot guy, not not the Imperial pilot guy, the other pilot guy. Andor. Uh, Andor. Yeah. Yeah. He, we. There was a scene of him 
later on in the movie where where they did establish his character very well like where how he felt about the rebellion and all that and yeah i guess that was something it was but then like all the other guys it's like who cares yeah i'm just like wait what well wow, that was a great shot uh, what was your name again yeah good job a machine uh, gun guy sarge or whatever or martial <laughs> old, arts guy good old what's his name you know yeah that guy <laughs> yeah, which um, it, which is a real shame, and it actually takes away from the best part of the film, which was the third act. Yes, definitely. Um, we'll get to we'll get to that later. Shall we talk about our favorite character in the movie? Easily the best character. K two K two the droid. The droid. <laughs> oh uh, my god, he he's like C three PO. If C three PO just didn't take shit from anybody. Yes, exactly. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> on a side note, uh, his design seemed very familiar. Yeah, there were a couple of droids in the original series that looked like him. They had a similar model, but they were no yeah. nowhere near as bulky as he was. Hmm. You know what? Uh, uh, the whole time I saw him, uh, I got... He kind of reminded me of the robot from Castle in the Sky. You know, the he, he had like the, the bulky torso, yeah, the, the little head, the big lanky right. arms. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if uh, that's where they drew some inspiration from. And he had, he had kind of, kind of. Well, his eyes were straight, but they were mm. still kind of googly. But yeah, we he was great. We found out he was voiced by Alan Tudyk yeah. too. How <laughs> funny is that? That the um, that the droid is the character that's pretty much the most human. <laughs> How fucked yeah, up is that? Yeah, especially in that third act. Oh no! Oh. No spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was awesome though. Um, just, just everything he said was hilarious. Was like, cool. there, there's a scene where they were being assaulted by stormtroopers, and, um, it, they just happened, he, he was like a former Imperial, uh, droid that, yeah, that was, was with the Rebellion now, and so they were being assaulted by stormtroopers, and then, um, uh, Jin was shooting at them, and then she shot the the uh, droid yes, that just that happened was the same model the same model <laughs> and for a second I was like oh shit <laughs> and then he, he like comes he around the corner the and he goes D you did know that wasn't me right <laughs> yes, <laughs> he was <laughs> so good uh, and he oh, and yeah. he was a badass too because he fought the stormtroopers yes yeah it's the first time well. I'm sure it's not the first time in the series proper because you have Grievous and all those guys. Yeah. But the first one actually basically pick up a blaster and just, you know, just go yep. to town. Well, there were the battle droids, but they suck. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that was actually competent with a blaster. Yeah, and I guess there's a lot maybe of, like... HK -47 maybe HK-47 from... I, uh, maybe IG-88, but we never... He, he's yeah. never been in... He never did anything in a movie aside from just standing yeah. there. HK-47 from um, Knights of the Old Republic uh, was another uh, one as well. Yes. Um, but yeah, he was really cool. Uh, again, I just wish we got to know the other characters a little bit better. I know that was my that was probably my biggest problem was the poor characterization. My other big problem. Yes. Uncanny Valley CGI faces. Yeah. Tarkin. So yes. Uh, <laughs> Since Peter Cushing is long dead, they needed some way to shoehorn him into the movie. Yeah. Well. Considering the whole premise is about uh, acquiring the Death Star plans. Yeah. So so they had to have Tarkin in there. Yeah. I mean, they, oh they, boy. Uh, let's just say there there are a couple of cameos from some characters. Uh, or Quite a some few. some of them are easy, like Darth Vader. Yes. Who all of you course. need all you need is the mask and James Earl Jones. Yes. And then C three PO and R two D two are very briefly in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there's also <throat> another character that shows up at the end, but not gonna, again. No spoilers. Yep. No spoilers. But yeah, it was very jarring to see Peter Cushing in this movie. Yes. Uh, I will say he the, looked like G Man from Half Life. <laughs> It, it, it kind of <laughs> Oh my god, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Rise and shine, Mr. Anakin. It, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I will say it wasn't too bad. Like, it wasn't as bad as, like, um, Jeff Bridges and Tron Legacy. Oh god, yeah, that was terrible. That was, yeah. That, you could they, tell, and it was... They, they did improve the technique quite a bit since then. Yeah. But it still wasn't enough. Whenever they close, but did close up on his face, it's just like you could see the, you could see the, the. <laughs> you can see the, you can see the, uh, the stitch lines. Yes. <laughs> you can see the Maya six base at work. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't. It, it didn't happen 
that much in the movie. I mean, there no. was a big scene with him. Um, there was uh, he, he showed up again at the end. Um, yeah. Uh, who was the Who was the other Imperial guy? The guy in the white robes. Uh, <laughs> director Selleck. Director Tom Selleck. I'm cheating. <laughs> We're, we're, see, see, this is the problem with the movie. We have to check IMDb to make sure. Because I couldn't remember anybody's name. Krennic. Krennic, yeah. Name. Thank you. Um, it, he was kind of funny in this movie because he is pretty much the guy who oversaw the construction of the Death Star. Yeah. And then um, Tarkin showed up to relieve him of his command. But he, he was so proud of that Death Star yeah. that he... Wanted to be a part of it so badly. He even went to go see Vader and say, "Hey, they're 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 taking they're taking it away from me. I demanded the I'm I made the thing. I bitch, should be bitch, yeah, yeah. bitch. <laughs> that was pretty much the sum of that scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the, to hear a pun from Vader. Yeah. <laughs> be sure not to choke on your. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I guess we should mention we were we were just looking this up uh, when we came back. The uh, the the guy that Forrest Whitaker plays Saw Guerrera. Uh, Saw Guerrera. Uh, this is uh, this is me kind of geeking out over Star Wars because yeah. he is a character from the Clone Wars TV show, and I'm actually amazed that they had brought this character who was just in, I think in one very brief story arc and brought him back. Basically. Um, in his uh, his little story arc, him and a bunch of other people were uh, on this planet trying to overthrow a uh, their their leader, who is, um, if I remember correctly, in that episode they kind of based him off of Julius Caesar, I think. Uh, yeah, because I I remember a lot of places in Clone Wars were like based off of other stuff, like um, the 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 place that the, that particular planet I think was like supposed to be Rome. Or something like that. Makes yeah, sense. But yeah, he was part of... Sounds um, like they're copying from Star Trek in a way. Yeah. He was, he was part <laughs> of like... This is the Rome theme planet. <laughs> um, so yeah, he was part of a, like a very, very, very early rebel cell yeah. that the um, the Republic actually helped, ironically. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> in that episode, Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan showed up to assist them. Yeah. Um, but... And uh, in this movie, his whole group were basically labeled as extremists at that point. Yeah. But then again, Saw Gerrera himself only showed up for what? Uh, well, he was at the beginning briefly, and then they had, uh, like, a big scene. Well, well, he was the one that captured uh, the pilot guy. Yeah, the cargo and pilot. They, had, they, uh... they, uh, he needed information, and they probed him yes. very harshly. Yes, with... <laughs> With tentacles. I forgot even the name of that character, too. The giant blob that uh, read yeah, people's some, minds. Some kind of psychic alien creature that yeah. can read your mind or something like that. Yeah. And then there was the whole bit with uh, him and Jin. Yeah, and that was pretty he, much it. Because he raised Jin mm -hmm. after his father, after her father, was taken by um, yeah. Krennic. Yeah, I her remembered it correctly that time. Her father was, I think, the lead engineer for the Death Star. Yes. And, and he... Um, he was actually the one that uh, kind of exposed its weaknesses to the rebellion. Yeah. He was the one that built that little exhaust port, <laughs> the one that's only two meters wide. Yeah, yeah that was his yeah. little contribution. Yeah. yeah, so small that they'd never see it. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> um, can I, I just want to say something. Now that I'm, I'm like reminiscing about this movie... Stormtroopers are idiots. Well, of course. <laughs> I swear to God, like, the show, the TV show Rebels... Really, really hammers that in, in <laughs> that they're stupid. Yeah. But, man, in this movie, they just... Yeah. It, it just feels like the Empire just hires any jack-off that can hold a blaster. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're all just, like, unpaid interns <laughs> or something. And their armor is the worst. Because yeah. that, it's plastic. the one guy just beat that beat them with a stick. Yeah. And, they, and he won. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he beat them with a stick. Yeah. The blind guy. Yeah, the blind guy. <laughs> I couldn't, you know what, I have it right here, yeah. but I couldn't say it to save my own life. Yeah. If he held the gun to my head, I'd, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, like, his character has a very... Shiro, Shiro Imwe, who's played by uh, Donnie Yen. Yeah. Yeah, him and his, and the other guy, uh, that who's the, the, the weapons dude. 
Oh god, What's I forgot his, his name. Yeah. Too. yeah. See that? He see was that? just heavy. That's... He was heavy weapons guy. I am a heavy weapons guy. And that was the main problem with this movie. Their names are barely mentioned. By the time they are, it's like, okay. Yeah. A, yeah plot's happening. We, we gotta pay attention to this. Yeah. Um, it's like, hi, I'm... Wait, what was your name again? Never mind, what? let's go. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, See, so yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else we can talk about with this movie. Without spoiling it? Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I, I really liked it. I, I'm... I can kind of see why people didn't have faith in it because it was a is a huge yeah. risk. This was this was Star Wars's Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty much, it was a very non traditional Star Wars movie too because it didn't have the text crawl at the beginning. Yeah, it just starts. Yeah, it just which boosh, was very yeah. very like it shocking. was jarring. <laughs> like oh okay but for really? that movie it actually um, kind of worked. Yeah, uh, people are saying that this is the first Star Wars movie to acknowledge that. Star Wars is about a war. We, well, um, and the, it is... Yeah, the third act definitely proved <laughs> that. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I, I can make a... Even though it's not a good example, uh, the Clone Wars movie kind of acknowledged that as well, but this yeah. this did it better. Yeah, it Th did. This was, uh, this was a very gritty movie where there was very little fun to be had and thankfully k2 was there to provide us yeah, necessary comic relief also because the, yeah there was a lot of grit in this movie you oh, could like basically go like this on your teeth and you yeah like, bristled yeah like, granules of sand I, I now that i think about it i think it makes sense that there weren't a whole lot of action figures for this because i yeah. don't even know if i would call this like a kid's movie this is not really i mean you didn't see that much this, blood but a bunch of people got yeah. blown the fuck up. Yeah, let's just say they were testing out the Death Star. Oh, yeah. And uh, they didn't blow up planets. But no, they were just going, they had it on the low heat yeah, setting. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> they, they got away blowing up major cities and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was more of a Star Wars movie for the adult Star Wars fans. I mean, yeah. I, I guess some... For all those kids, for all those uh, Star Wars nerds in their basement who were just like wanted, you know... Yeah. Who were... For all the Kylo, Kylo Ren's of the world, <laughs> this movie was for you. <laughs> oh, you want a gritty Star Wars movie? Huh? Oh, here you go. You sick, of, you sick of C-3PO and Jar Jar Binks? Well, here you and go. Puppet Yoda. Here, well, now you everyone's go. dying. Sure, everyone's dying. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. <laughs> Star Wars. Look at the blood. <laughs> blood ocean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I guess all that's left to say is uh, I guess this did put a little bit of faith in um, some of the other side projects that they're going to be working on. Yeah. Like there's the Han Solo movie coming out. So, True. Uh, I mean, if it's if they do it as well as this, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I um, think so. I kind of wonder what, what el else they could possibly go through. I mean, um, this, even though it, they kind of eschewed most of the expanded universe, there's still a lot of yeah. universe to explore. They, yeah, I mean, it's not canon, but it doesn't mean that they can't, you know, go back into the archives and say, hey, this would make an interesting story. Yeah, guys, uh, we've got a whole stack of novels here we can use as material. You know this what? franchise is never going to die. You know what? <laughs> It'll probably never happen, but <clears throat> I want them to do Shadows of the Empire. Oh, you and so many others, me the included. Shadows of the Empire. Uh, I mean, I, I've never read all of it, but I played. I played the game. N sixty four game. I, yeah. I played. I've uh, read a little bit of the comics and mm -hmm. all that. It it was literally everything but a movie, and I, I really. I think it's a really good story. I think they could utilize utilize it. The problem is. Uh, the timeline in which it takes place, which is between five it's, and six. Yeah, it's uh, it basically starts with the Hoth battle and ends with them going to rescue Han. Mm -hmm. So, which is not is most of Empire. Yeah. Some of the time in between and like the very very beginning of Jedi. Gotcha. So, uh, and and a lot of uh, major characters from the series like. Um, have to make appearances so more than likely if they're going to do um if they're going to do shadows of the empire we're going to be seeing more uncanny, uh, uncanny valley, valley cgi yeah. faces we're going to need han oh, solo yeah. and princess leia and luke I oh mean, boy chewbacca is easy because it's a costume yeah um but yeah uh, i wonder who'd play dash rendar i don't know um, who are they get uh, who are they getting to play cable isn't that the guy from don't breathe 
Yeah, I think... Yeah. Well, I know I he think, wanted to play Cable, but I don't know who they're I casting. Think, I think he could work. But Stephen Lang, yeah, that could totally work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm might just be a little old for the part. I don't know how old is Rendar. I, um, what like. I think he... He was pretty gruff, so I'm, I'm guessing he was a little bit older than Solo. Okay. Because uh, I, I know they were, like, friends or something. In fact, in fact, his ship is very similar to the uh, Millennium Falcon. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. That would make an interesting... Uh, we'd also need... Uh, We'd also need Boba Fett to go out like a bitch, as usual. <laughs> of course. I want to love him. I want to love him, but he, yeah, keeps, but, uh, he makes it so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this movie was really good. Yeah. Um, I was hoping maybe... Uh, th this felt like it could have been the finale to Rebels. Yeah. The Star Wars Rebels, because... I remember them saying how how they want to end Rebels because if you watch if you read the credit crawl for A New Hope it says that the um, the Rebels uh, or, or a small group of Rebels caused a great victory that allowed um, allowed them to have the Death Star plans or so or something and yeah. that's where that picks up. They wanted to end Rebels with that, uh, so I'm I'm guessing that that plan got scraped. I guess so. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Would, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and watch it uh, at some point, maybe when it comes out, because they're saying that y you were saying that people have been saying there's references to Star Wars Rebels. Yes. Yeah. Um, which is, which is a great show, by the way. It's, it's yes, like, it is. it's seriously like my favorite TV show right now. So yeah, they did a yeah. phenomenal job seeing yeah. that well before Force Awakens came out. Gave me, you know, like okay, yeah, maybe that, Disney acquiring Star Wars wasn't a bad thing. That was Disney's first uh, attempt at Star Wars, and, and they yeah, definitely they knocked it out of the park yeah, with that one. Yeah, so um, we'll see what the future holds. But Rogue One, um, my verdict was very weak in the beginning, started getting better, and the third act really got it for me. Yeah. The third act was what sold it. Definitely. But yeah, the, it's kind of marred by poor characterization. Yeah. But they, I mean, what movie they, is it nowadays? They, they did make a, they did uh, do a good job of making us care about the characters. They're just yes, they, they did do a good job of establishing. We, we just them. didn't get it, get to know them. That was yeah. really all the the problems. Yeah. Um, I, I have a feeling there's going to be supplemental material for this movie. There's there's going to be a comic about the two Asian guys or something. There has to, <laughs> there has to be something. Yeah. But and also, we need more Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> Sorry, that guy's popping up everywhere, but I can't get enough of him. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's about it for Rogue One. I would say so. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it. Indeed. So, um, yep. Uh, until the next Star Wars, I guess. May of 2017, <laughs> I think. Yes. No. May, may the Force be with you. <laughs> Boy, you want to piss off Star Wars fans, you do that. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Later.